I haven't seen a ton of Jim Wynorski movies. I've seen, I'm assuming, more than you. This might be my favorite one of his, Return to Swamp Things up there. Not coincidentally, both those films feature Monique Gabriel and her two talents. <laughs> well, that might be the only two talents that that poor woman has. <laughs> I will say, she's one of the worst actresses in in history, obviously. (laughs) But I will say, what makes her kind of fun to watch versus, like, other bad actors is you can see her trying so hard that it makes it funny. (laughs) The way she moves her mouth and the way she moves her eyebrows, you know she's trying so hard. She just doesn't have a single talent and she doesn't have a single gene of talent yeah in that incredibly sexy body of hers unfortunately doesn't get it you know whatever it is she just doesn't i i do think though with this movie being a comedy it's it's kind of a farce of itself i think she fits in pretty well actually but that's you know whatever other things fit well in her too that's the thing (laughs) well see (laughs) I was going to say, the sleazy porno 70s thing that I was trying to tie into was actually Monique Gabrielle, whose real name is Catherine G- Gonzalez. And she also I have read about what, she goes by Monique Gabrielle Kernan now, I think, or something, and yes. I think she's like, runs a porn company or something. Yes, I believe so, and she also went by a different name, I'm trying to find it, but I can't find it right now, <laughs> right now but she was in a couple pornos but apparently she was not doing any of the uh well, I, acting I, in the pornos i i think i think she was in a couple like in her in her prime in the 80s she was in a couple non explicit roles or she was in some like softcore movies because she's emmanuel in emmanuel 5 which is the first emmanuel film not to feature sylvia christelle i don't know if it's viewed as an official emmanuel film i'm sure they made more after that Uh. but at, at some point later in her career i think she did do hardcore stuff and i think she maybe even directed and produced some of that stuff too that's the monique gabriel that i don't know i know <laughs> the monique gabriel in bachelor party Death Stalker 2. Emmanuel 5. Emmanuel 5. I've seen that one. Uh, I know I've seen her in some she other things. She was in Airplane 2, apparently. As oh, um, uh, Amazon Women on the Moon is a, is a great role for her. She plays like a Playboy playmate who refuses to put on her clothes. And there's like a little... That's a weird movie. It's not a very good movie, but, but that's a memorable <laughs> scene of hers. Which, by the way, she was a she was on the cover of Penthouse, I think. Oh, yeah, here's her Here's her name. Although she was in the 1986 adult film Bad Girls 4, credited as Luana Chass, she did not play an explicit part. Oh, she's also in, uh, speaking of like, in, kind of in the vein of Emmanuel, she's in Lady Chatterley's Lover 2 yeah, young or Lady something Chatterley like that. Yeah, Lady 2. She plays like a maid that gets banged in the she plays. She plays a maid with, I can't remember if it was a terrible or a half-decent Irish accent, but yes, I enjoyed her in that movie. Well, knowing her, it was probably terrible. But yeah, so... <laughs> this poor woman is perhaps the worst actor that we featured on this podcast. And it's unfortunate that she takes up a huge part of this movie. No, it's not. <laughs> She's the best part of them. Well, I will say, she and John Terleski, who plays Deathstalker, for very different reasons, they are the best part of the movie. I mean, Monique Gabrielle, yeah. obviously, for the looks, but also her performance is hilarious with it, how bad it is. I would love to meet her in real life just to say thank you for this movie. <laughs> I would love to say thank you for this movie, for Evil Tunes, for Return of Swamp Thing, for maybe her porno career. I don't know. (laughs) For Emmanuel 5, for sure. Listen, I love Monique Gabriel so much that I've seen a version of Emmanuel 5 that was just like some awful bootleg that didn't even have English subtitles. And I'm not even sure if the movie was originally in French, like the original manuals were i i watched that entire movie even though i didn't understand a word anyone said so Dude, that's how she's awesome in she is. silk too yeah she's in a movie called amazon women on the moon from i mentioned from that movie video. earlier oh, okay never mind. <laughs> it's 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 um it's directed by john landis oh all the movies she's made that might be her most like real movie of all of them oh okay well that's you know interesting <laughs> Do these sound do these sound like softcore porn television shows? I'm going to read you the titles, ready? Hunter. I mean that that could be anything. Something is out there. And she's in an episode that... called Good What does it say? Good psychics are hard to come by. Okay, something is out there sounds like a horror movie. That doesn't sound like softcore porn to me, but What about this one? one. Hardball. 
that could be a gritty cop drama for all I know. I mean, that could be anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah the, You're not selling me on these the, titles. The episode so name far. is a killer date. Uh, the next television show. Again, that's, that could just be a cop drama, though. Here's one called. So these are all TV? Yes. Here's one called Dream On. That was an HBO show. That was a, that was a, that was a legitimate show that oh, was on HBO. Okay. I don't know what it is, but I know it's like it had like six seasons. That's a real show. She's in an episode called Five 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 Hell. And then okay, now these ones. Okay, listen. That's that sounds like a, just a ripoff of Eight Six Seven Evil, which, by the way, she is in Eight Six Seven Evil Two, which I have not seen. I've seen the original Eight. Is it Eight Six? No, it's probably not Eight Six Seven. Is it Six Six Six? Because I'm thinking of Eight Six Seven Five Three O Nine. Um, it's Robert England directed that movie. I'm trying to think of what it's called. But but yeah, it's something. But Eve, it's like a phone number, and Evil is the last four digits. Oh. Well, tell me your vibe on these last two. Here's the television show, USA Up All Night. Her role was... I'm... A, a, okay. Okay, yeah. USA Up All Night, I'm familiar with what that is. USA Up All Night is relevant to this podcast. That was a, that was an old show, kind of like a Joe Bob Briggs show that used to air movies, and it had some movies originally made for it, including Vice Academy. Oh. I believe all six Vice Academy movies were USA Up All Night features. Uh, so that was hosted by some, uh, I don't remember her name, but some like model from the time. And she would they had guests like Linnea Quigley and Monique Gabriel and people like that come on and talk about movies and stuff. They probably did like Return of Swamp Thing on there, you know. So that that's like a real thing. I know what that is. Okay, okay. Well, she played the roles of schoolgirl Monique and Monique Slumber Party guest. <laughs> 